Hi everyone, so today we have another video review with a new kit and as you can see today we will be talking about aircraft model it comes from special hobby in 148 scale it should be quite a large build and it copies quite famous aircraft it's a supermarine seafire mark 15 from FAA and RCN aircraft forces and here as you can see it's a kit number SH48233 and we have quite a nice box art here of course this is the final shape of this kit so it means we have the uh, final version of this plastic and you will get exactly the same stuff if you order it from official special hobby website so here we have the two signs which actually hint on the same uh, thing that we get the aircraft uh, markings from those aircraft forces and or air forces if you prefer and the box size is quite typical for such release from special hobby so here is comparison with my hand i really like box art it's quite colorful here and on the side we see two marking options which are included into this uh, kit so i'm not sure if it is limited up to markings which we see here on the side or maybe we'll get some more so we will find out when we will be checking the assembly manual and here on the other side you can see also that it's limited edition made in czech republic and we also have the qr code for the kit info page and here is the kit number once again so this is the top opening box and here is what we have inside i would say there is enough of space as you can see it's assembly manual on the top and then we have plastic parts on the bottom so we will be checking them one by one of course we start with the plastic parts and then gradually we will move on to other bonuses which are included here because i can see that we have some additional stuff included so first of all the gray plastic parts and for this we have three plastic sprues so the first one is the sprue a here you can see it and maybe we can zoom in a bit more and here we get the fuselage house both are molded together with the tail fin and also the cooling area so this is quite a tricky design where you have to pay attention how those uh, areas actually join together so that you won't have any unnecessary gaps which will be visible on the finished model we also get the cockpit walls here and there and the propeller hub separate rudder because we have the tail fin pre-molded separate propeller weights which is quite interesting one piece pilot seat and also some minor parts for the cockpit and external features so if i zoom in uh, here i would like to show you first the fuselage half so panel lines look okay but i would recommend not to overdo the layers of the primer and paint because you can easily lose all of those details here we can see also the instrument panel of course it is fine for out of the box build but if you would like to have more then maybe you will have to go for some aftermarket but now i'm looking at the box in the box and we have some <laughs> i would say useful bonus there so we will see it a bit later and here you can see also some of the cockpit parts as well so if i flip it over uh fuselage halves they have the guiding pins inside so it will be helpful to align those large parts together and as you remember we have the cockpit walls separate so do not worry about the plane walls here inside the fuselage so that's the first sprue next we continue with the second one which has the letter i am not seeing the letter ah here c so this one is dedicated to the mix of parts and here we get the one piece tail wing which is molded together with the elevator here we have also the air intake landing gear wheels also some minor parts for the fuselage and everything looks more or less okay of course you can replace a lot of stuff with the resin and metal so it will be your decision whether you would like to go to aftermarket manufacturers it might be a good option to consider because it's a 148 scale after all and it will be noticeable once you install some improvements but as you can see what we get out of the box is also quite decent looking of course i would not recommend this kit to beginners because there are some certain challenges to overcome and this is definitely not shake and bake it kit 
but I think with some dedication you will get a nice result. So here we get the last gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to the wing parts and we get quite a classic parts design. So we get two top panels and one bottom. Flaps are pre-molded and ailerons are separate. They're here. Air intakes, as you remember, are also separate. And as for the external features, again, they are not that deep, these panel lines, so be careful with it. It's really easy to lose them. And here you can check also the wheel wells, and here is the top section of the wheel wells. And by the way, note that the wing edges, they will be serving as a guiding elements as well. So quite a smart design, and so without a lot of guiding pins, it still helps you to align the parts. So definitely useful with such large parts. Next, I'm opening another plastic bag and we get the clear parts here. So I will show them in a second. Here they are. Let's zoom in a bit. And now you can see that here we get the canopy parts, of course. And as you can see, the canopy can be assembled in the open position. And this is really handy thing in 148 scale. But of course, if you plan to open the cockpit, it might be a good idea to go for some aftermarket. And in terms of the aftermarket, this is not all. We have the decals, which are packed with one useful thing together so just give me a moment i'll take it out of the back so first of all as a hint i will show you this and as you can see this is the clear film with the dials for the instrument panel and as you can guess you cannot apply it just on the uh, plastic part you have to use this so this is unpainted P thread with parts for the cockpit. So we get seat belts, we get instrument panel, we get various controls. And this is a really cool add-on to have in the standard package. It means you will get to replicate some fine features with help of what you're getting in the standard package. So definitely a nice add-on to have. And maybe for some others it will be more than enough, you know, so um, it's a good thing to get in the standard package and if you are not familiar with PE parts we have those decals and why I'm mentioning this because we get the decals for the instrument panel so you can use those instead just apply them on the plastic parts and printing quality looks fine we have even the stencils it's also important thing for 148 scale aircraft and overall my previous experience with special hobby decals is quite decent they were easy to apply and there were no issues whatsoever. So next we continue with the assembly manual here. I will have to zoom out a bit. Uh, this assembly manual comes in form of large brochure. We have short history note here. And next we continue with the parts map. Then we start assembly with the cockpit parts. So as you can see here straight away we are met with the choice whether we are using decals or we are using the P parts. Of course I would recommend to use P parts. But the final choice is after you because not all modelers actually able to use the PE parts due to the age, for example. And next we continue with seat belts. Then we join fuselage halves together. So here we also get to install some uh, PE parts and plastic parts on the cockpit walls. So they will not be just plain walls. Next we continue with the wing parts. Also we assemble the propeller. So for the propeller you have to pay attention to the alignment of the blades. Because as you see there are no, I would say, positioning or guiding elements. Next, we continue with the uh, wing installation to the fuselage. We install the air intakes under the wing. Also, ending gear goes in place. And then here we install the canopy parts and the separate propeller. And also it's good that the exhausts are separate. It means you can paint them and then install into your aircraft. So the first marking option uh, is here. As you can see, it's a typical marking guide for a special hobby. And I guess, yes, we get only two marking options, unfortunately. For a 148 scale, it would be better to see more. But of course, you can find some aftermarket sets of decals in case you would like to replicate something different. And here we can also see some other kits in the same scale. We reviewed them as well, so it's worth checking out. Especially this Grinnell baby, it's one of the recent releases and it's really nice thing to work, especially after all of those fighters which we are used to seeing 
38 scale. So as for today's kit, it should be already available on official special hobby website. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such uh, packed kit. Write it here in the comment section below. And if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.